This is a meditation and a powerful journey where you will go to visit the Egyptian goddess Sekhmet. Sekhmet, Lady of the Flame, Goddess of Healing, Goddess of War. She is also known as the Dark Mother, for she works in your shadows and she activates the sacred fires within you, the sacred Sekhmet fires within you, to transmute and transform any shadow and darkness into light. She is the most powerful alchemist. The lion goddess, hear her roar, for you hold that roar within your own very being. And this is what she wishes for you to remember, to reactivate. So take some nice long deep breaths now, for this is the summoning. She is calling you home and it is now time for you to return. Allow those breaths to unfold now, breathing in from the root chakra, in through the nose as you hold the breath at the top of the crown, and then exhale, allowing the breath to roll out, letting go of anything that does not serve you. With each breath now, you feel yourself coming into a more centered space, feeling your physical body relax. And with the breath, bringing further restoration of relaxation into your light energy bodies. So feeling your energy field relax and allowing those breaths to Roll in and roll out, preparing your whole being for journeying. In your mind's eye now, you are taken to a place, a place very, very familiar. You are stood outside a very sacred temple. You have been here many times before. And you are standing before a magnificent altar. This is a place of offerings. And this magnificent altar stands right outside the sacred temple of Sekhmet. You take a moment now to observe your clothing and you are dressed in sacred whites. The crystals which are sewn very intricately into your clothing are that of carnelian crystal. This is indeed Sekhmet's crystals, for they hold the fire, the frequency that she emanates. You look down in your arms and you are carrying sacred blue lotus flowers, sacred oils, and a fruit basket. These are your offerings to the divine goddess, Sekhmet. You approach the altar and you place your gifts, your love and your gratitude humbly on the altar. You take a moment placing your hands on your heart moving into deep, very deep prayer. You are opening your heart to this very powerful goddess. Allow the frequency and the energy to expand a little now. As you feel the power and the energy coming online through your sacred prayer, as you lift your eyes and your gaze, you see that the doors to her sacred temple have been opened and there stand two divinely chosen custodians, sacred keepers of Sekhmet. 
you bow your head in honor to them. They lead you now through a corridor and you can feel your heart beating in your chest as this energy rises. This feels a lot like anxiety, but this is actually the frequency, the power, and the ferociousness of Segmet that you feel emanating, vibrating through your frequency as you get closer to the fire, so to speak. You will feel the energy of those flames very intensely. Keep breathing and expanding your energy field. You now arrive at the sacred doors to her temple, to her chamber. The sacred keepers, custodians, they step aside. You stand at the doors now, taking a moment to center yourself, for you are about to meet this powerful goddess. Take three heart breaths now, breathing in through the cosmos, drawing a breath up from Gaia, holding those breaths in the heart, and as you exhale, you allow your heart breath to emanate in 360 degrees. And take another deep breath now, as above, so below, breathing in, holding in the heart, and exhale, and one final breath like this, as above, so below, breathing in, hold, and exhale. Your heart breath is your offering, and now you say, Sekhmet, O powerful one, I humbly request to enter your sacred layer, dear mother. Lady of the flame, goddess of war, I call on your protection, your fierceness I adore. I invoke deep within me the sacred Sekhmet flames, so I may claim my courage, leading others to do the same. Praise be to Sekhmet, upholder of Ma'at, May I know my Sekhmet self as I travel through Duat. In the name of the goddess Sekhmet, I reduce all shadows to ash. As the son of Ra is blinding, all darkness comes to pass. And with that, the doors open and you enter. As you stand there now, you are absolutely breathtaking. You bow your head, for you greet this goddess humbly. She is this magnificent, black-of-the-night statue, standing in all of her glory. There is a powerful, blinding shaft of sunlight that comes through an aperture in the ceiling of the temple. This is the energy of Ra, her father, the sun god. You start to telepathically communicate with her and she calls you forth now to stand in the light. So you step forward and there you are. The energy of the sun, Ra, bestowing his golden solar energy upon your whole being. You're standing very closely now in front of Sekhmet. You keep breathing deeply, for you can feel her breath on your skin, yet she is standing in her statue form. It matters not. You know what to do. You allow the energy of Ra to melt into every part of your being now. And as you start to connect and breathe in, embody the sunlight, the sun rays, the solar energy of Ra, suddenly there is a fire ignited within you and it begins in the depths of your belly, in your hips, 
breathe with this activation now and as you breathe the divine breath air activates fire and you start to encompass engulf explode with these sacred Sekhmet flames through every part of your being now As the flames rise, they burn off any density you have been sitting in, in this lifetime, in any past lifetimes, any directions, any dimensions, it is burnt off now. For these flames and this activation is not for clearing. It is for activation. It is for a sacred yes to be a warrior of Sekhmet. So allow these flames to ignite, for this is a remembering. As you look up to Sekhmet once more, you are astounded, for she has now transformed from her statue self into her real self. And she is much bigger in physical form. She lets out an almighty roar, and this further activates the flames within you. You feel your energy field expand and you feel your physical vessel grow. You become taller. Now you stand eye to eye with Sekhmet, heart to heart. Allow this to embody now. You are alit with frequency, solar rays, Sekhmet fire flames. Now she instructs you to anchor those flames deeply into Gaia, into the internal fires of the core of the earth. Align your element now with that of Gaia's fire. Start to send this power, this energy, these flames. Send it down your root into your earth star chakra. And then further send this energy of your fires into the earth to Gaia's portal now. Feel the fires slightly tame now and they become more controlled in a very powerful manner. For you must harness the fires, dear heart, harness. And now, you stand before the Goddess. Dear heart, I have called you home as one of my children, and you have responded to my call. And this is indeed a soul contract that was agreed upon many lifetimes ago. It is now for the flames to soften your heart, to love fiercely, leadership through love, for you are a leader. It is now time for you to fulfill your purpose and complete on your missions. And with that, you feel a rush of energy, an opening of your being. Sekhmet, she has a message for you. She has something she wishes to impart with you now which is essential, critical for your mission forward now. Open your third eye, open your heart, and expand your flames to receive this message now.
with the transmission and message you have received from Sekhmet. Breathe that energy. Breathe the frequency. Breathe the message into your being now. Anchor it, ground it, and send it into your earth star chakra. For this is your divine purpose. And your Earth Star Chakra is very much a GPS for your lifetime mission, this lifetime. Sekhmet says if it is not grounded, it holds no power. If you are not grounded, you hold no power. So send that energy and frequency and transmission deep into the earth, into your earth star. Here you stand now, looking deeply into Sekhmet's eyes. You feel such a bond, such a connection with your mother. It is time to leave this place now. But she tells you that you must return. You must return. Each time you do, you will receive further guidance for your mission. So know that you can come back to this place whenever you feel the call to do so. You bow down once more, humbly, gratefully. You step out of the frequency of Ra, for your flames have now been activated in deep love and gratitude to Ra. The custodians are holding the doors open for you now. They bow their heads also in honor and grace for your mission, for your purpose, for your love. You slowly start to walk away from this place now. Feel yourself now coming gently back into your physical body. Start to breathe into your feet, your ankles, your legs, your hips, and allow the process to land. And when you are fully grounded, you may open your eyes. <laughs>